day coronavirus patient here in New York City is waking up this morning at home for the first time in months after an amazing recovery. 64-year-old Larry Kelly was admitted to a hospital in March when his health rapidly declined after testing positive. At one point, in fact, his family was called to the hospital to say goodbye. But yesterday, after more than 120 days, Kelly was finally discharged. Senior medical correspondent Dr. Tara Narula shows us how Kelly and his family never gave up. They call him Miracle Larry, a devoted husband of 42 years to wife Dawn, a doting father and grandfather, and a COVID-19 survivor. He's finally coming home after 128 days of fighting the virus. It's overwhelming. I love my wife. Saved my life. She wouldn't let them pull the plug. Thank you, honey. Back in March, 64-year-old Larry, a retired assistant principal, had been feeling sick and run down. That's when he and his daughter Jackie got tested. They were both positive. While Jackie recovered quickly, Larry spiraled, and the family ended up needing an ambulance. When he got to the hospital, the last text he sent you, Don, before he was intubated, he said, I promise I'll never stop fighting. He what did that mean to you? I knew he was he's a man of his word. New York became the U.S. epicenter of the disease. At its peak, more than 500 people died a day due to COVID in this city. Larry Kelly fought and his family prayed. 51 days on a ventilator, infections, pneumonia, brain hemorrhages. His wife was told to say goodbye. Because you just couldn't imagine someone like him going through this. It's just and someone has... being so immobilized and you know not not conscious and you know their their like love of life is not being shown anymore. Finally, on Easter Sunday, 26 days after entering the hospital, Larry Kelly opened his eyes. What do you think about the nickname Miracle Larry? I'm I'm very blessed. Yeah. And it was it was because of all these people and so many more. Prayer, miracles, love, all part of the joy that greeted Larry as he returned to one of his favorite places in the world. What did it mean to know that so many people were in your corner praying for you, cheering you on? I was never a true believer, but I, I'm really changed now because I was so overwhelmed by how many prayers and thoughts, and I know that that had a part of it. I know that that helped, and no one can convince me that it didn't. And Dr. Tara Narula joins us now. So, Doctor, the agonizing question is, we've got Larry's remarkable story of recovery, but so many other people do not recover. So what makes that difference? That's the million dollar question. And we as doctors struggle with that all the time, why someone lives and why someone doesn't. And clearly there's the medicine, the science, the teams of doctors and nurses. But Tony, there's two other things that we don't often focus on, hope and support. In medical school, one of my first attendings told me, never take away hope from a patient. And this family never took away their hope for Larry. Mm -hmm. And the second is support, especially now during coronavirus when patients are alone. He had Facebook posts that were read to him every day, voice messages his family brought him the bar owner that put up that sign that said I'll never take it down until Larry gets out and his wife and the love they shared on their 42nd anniversary Tony she walked to the nursing home dropped off his card for their anniversary and they read it together just I a beautiful love story. I love that families often feel they have no role here they can't help but in fact they can as you point out thank you Tara